आपने मुझे बहुत प्यार दिया शायद शायद मैं पिछले पंद्रह साल से देख रहा हूं शायद इतना प्यार हिंदुस्तान के किसी राजनेता को नहीं मिला और मैं मैं ये कर्ज चुकाऊंगा ये कर्ज चुकाऊंगा आपके सपनों का भारत बना करके कर्ज चुकाऊंगा हम मिल करके भारत मां की सेवा करें हमसे जो हो सके हमारे देशवासियों के लिए करें अपने वतन के लिए करें जिस धरती में हमने जन्म लिया जिस कुल में हमने शिक्षा पाई हमसे जो हो सकता है हम सब करें इसी एक अपेक्षा के साथ फिर एक बार हृदय से आप सबका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद भारत माता की भारत माता की भारत माता की भागवत कथा और पूजा के वास्ते जब मैं आया जेब के उतरा तो जानवरी महीना का मास्ता धोती पहनी हुई थी बहुत ठंडी और टैक्सी वाला भाई मिला तो टैक्सी में तो बैठ गया मैं तो बोले कहाँ जाने का मैं कुछ मेरे को पता नहीं कहाँ जाने का तो वो बहुत दयालु थे वो दया करके वो तो लाए उसके घर पे ठहराया सो माई फैमिली खेम टू द स्टेट्स इन द एटीज नाइनटीन मे बी एटी टू आई वॉज बोर्न शिकागो बट वी ओनली लिव देर फॉर फ्यू मंथ्स एंड देन वी मूव परमानेंटली टू कैलिफोर्निया दे एरिया विच अलॉट ऑफ इंडियन अमेरिकन लिव इन I came here in 1989 uh, to do my PhD. Uh, at least that was the purported uh, reason for getting coming here. The decision to come here was primarily made after working in the corporate sector for a couple of years in Delhi, and uh, at that point, uh, deciding that I just couldn't do that anymore. So my dad worked for the Indian Foreign Service. While I was raised, and my both my brother and my sister were raised out of India for most of our lives, because we carried India on our backs everywhere we went. We are not even one percent of this U.S. population, but it is still less than that. But still, our household income per household is ninety thousand dollars. So I think that is a thumbs up for all of you out there. Keep on working. Keep on working hard. My brother was the first Columbus from India over here from my family. He was in the shipping business, so he he came on the job, but he decided not to go back to India. We are like a 
second wave of uh, immigrants in this country people who came in 60s they were first let me see hmm. maybe they want something to be translated in dollars or what i think All I can do is that notarize your certification that oh, you are okay. saying it under the oath. If you lawyer के पास गए होते then you could have he could have charged you hundred bucks. हाँ वो तो Blessed to study in uh, Regent New College, Trichopoli. Did my masters there, and most of my classmates. We all came here. We were on those days they were looking for a lot of computer programmers and stuff like that. We were all computer programmers, and uh, it, it was easy for us to come. Yes. He was, you know, um, running the. temp agency temporary you know placement agencies uh, he sponsors us the visa uh, and uh, uh, he try to you know exploit us uh, but uh, basically it was little struggle at the you know beginning uh, chicken please chicken please okay 2 dollars <laughs> we also had a thought to you know sometimes to go back you know and uh, work for our people like back in india Uh, but again, you know, we were also thinking about the future of our own child. When it's especially it's a girl child. I'll be the no boundaries. This is my boundary. लड़कियों के बारे में बहुत सारी you know समाज के तरफ से negative vibrations होते हैं, negative vibes होते हैं, जो generally दिखाई नहीं देते, लेकिन it's in you know practice. और हमें वो नहीं देना था. बच्चे के लिए बस ये तो दावा कि तुम्हारे वर्ल्ड वी ऑल नो द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स इज अ रेशियली डाइवर्स कंट्री इट्स नॉट जस्ट वन रेस इट्स लाइक अ चॉइस यू कैन कम टू अमेरिका टू बी व्हाट योर रिलीजन यू आस्क मी अर्लियर अबाउट व्हाई आई एम अमेरिकन आई एम एन अमेरिकन बिकॉज़ आई हैव अ सिंगल मदर एंड दैट हैज प्रोफाउंडली शेप्ड how i understand the politics of a hindu indian identity i got you know like much better you know like uh, exposure in terms of uh, uh friends wise you know like i have all kinds of friends you know like uh, white african american and you know like uh, african brothers and uh, you know like asian i mean chinese uh, koreans you know like uh, all kinds of people you know It's kind of you know like wonderful experience. If you look at many, many, many of the people who are even today coming to the United States from India, they're still doing things that they never did before. Right? You're going out and hanging out in a bar till two o'clock in the night. right you 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 you're experiencing a whole new social space and really trying to figure out how to be how to enjoy yourself how to you know really produce yourself a new in that in that special social space when you go through sense of experience here you find it necessary to position yourself as a person who's coming with this rich tradition right and so you invent a tradition literally right? you literally invent a tradition that really doesn't exist
produce this kind of, you know, essentialized thing which you call your culture. And then it's all a fight around that. Om Namah Shivaya. उसके पास गुरु नहीं है उसके पास पोप नहीं है उसके पास पृष्ठ नहीं है उसके पास कोई क्योंकि यहाँ के बच्चे हिंदुस्तान से बच्चे जैसा बहुत भोला है लेकिन उनको उस कल्चर चाहिए उनको शिक्षा ज्ञान इसलिए हम थोड़ा सा यहाँ हॉल है ऊपर तो हॉल में थोड़ा सा बच्चों को हम सैटरडे संडे को संस्कृत का पढ़ाना उसको श्लोक बोलाना तो उसके साथ उसका पेरेंट्स आता है उसको थोड़ा ज्ञान देना ऐसा ऐसा हम इसलिए कर रहे थे बार कि बच्चे को कल्चर यहाँ कुछ कल्चर जैसा बिल्कुल जीरो है लेकिन हमारे सानिध्य में यहाँ आता है तो हम उसको थोड़ा सा हमको बहुत चिंता है कि ये बच्चा हमारी कथा जो कोई शादी का भी कोई करने वाला नहीं कि उनको कौन से उसके पास कोई ऐसा गुरु टीचर नहीं So it's, it's a strange thing. So you abstract out a particular culture from there and elevate that, and you take this new life here, and you only pull out the victim end of it. Well, folks, uh, welcome to your favorite show, the stories of Mahabharata and the ABC Radio Club. Uh, this is Shudipta Bhomik from the 8K Radio ABC Studio. The stories of Mahabharata. In the last episode, we heard the story of Charasandha and his death in the hands of Bhima. We also heard how the Pandavas completed all the prerequisites for performing the Raj Suyasa. How to write and how to say the words. Look, such is right here, right in front of me. You're lying. In Punjabi, what is such? The truth. Our father is the truth. Right? Our father is the truth. Right? If you want to laugh, you go inside and laugh in front of everyone. Before I make you. Do some air for now. Hi, everyone, close your eyes. Shh. 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 You don't do something. He's doing something. Shh. Yeah, yeah, you. Go. There's a beard. Man, beard. If that's embarrassing. Then go inside. Yeah. Everyone, close your eyes. We are four, five brothers and sisters, so we all came over here with, to join him. And then our wives came, our children born over here. And uh, then our in-laws also came over here. So today the family which was started with the one person immigrated over here. We have like 
45, 50 people. So our people started to rent the place, right? And the first place was over here named Yogi Bazaar. Then other businesses came, the restaurants came, right? And it built up. And then the city recognized that and they give the name India Square. I don't think it is um, there's much of a difference, particularly the way we are living here. And we get all Indian food and everything. And you, you saw the streets, right? So at this one street where you can 11 o'clock, you can still walk in and have a Hyderabadi chai and walk out. So we, we, we are very, you know, I, I don't think we ever missed it. You know, in this area alone, right? Gujarati, they have Swami Narayan temples here. A couple of them are here. Four temples are here. And there's a Sikh Gurdwara here. And uh, there's some, you know, like uh, 11 masks in Jesse City today. It's totally a different type of, a, you know, a city. And uh, we, the immigrants, are actually, we are very proud that, you know, we built the city. What are we giving back to the community? Uh, that is a very important question that we address every day. We just don't go and complain. We try to address the gaps, like what the government has done, what can be done, and where is the gap. They don't have a house, they don't have a place to cook food, right? and there are people on the streets. Whether we like it or not, we, we call some certain set of group of people, undocumented or illegal, but they are here. And you know, this country has given us, you know, so much. I definitely feel that it is our obligation to, you know, like, to, we live here, we are going to be here, you know, like, unless God has different plans. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. You're sleeping? Thank you and God bless. Okay. I love you too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Profiling it happens, and whether we will, but we, I think whether you like it or not, that's part of life today. So we have to accept it that, and uh, that's the way the people are going to treat us. Other than that, you know, like, uh, I don't think so. You know, like, ever I had a major, you know, like, uh, not in this city. Outside, yes, you know, like uh, got pulled out once from the airplane. Um, those are part of life, you know, we go through with that. So I was, I was actually referring to kind of my arrival in New York at a time when Indian immigrants were hyper visible. Um, and were targeted because of their visibility and their success, right? So their relative success in an era where, so we're talking about the, the 80s now, right? So the Reagan era in the United States. So, re I mean, Indian communities had started to move in and build their little Indias, their little Gujarativilles and Punjabi bugs um, in New Jersey and New York in a way that incensed the local populations, right? So when I moved to New York when I was 11, it was 1986, uh, the whole dot busters um, violence was spreading all through northern New Jersey and it started to pick up in the New York area and particularly uh, the, more, the more established working class white communities, right? This is where the violence was taking place. And so when I arrived to middle school, this idea that the Indians were the newest, like, latest, greatest other, right, um, was very firmly in place. Our people got beaten up too. And there was one guy, he was, a, I think, medical doctor. He was killed. He was a Parsi boy from India, and he got killed. So even uh, we have my next door, there was a Dr. Patel was there. He, uh, he was slashed too and beaten up.
and I, I was approaching my car and I saw the bunch of the kids. Then one of the kids came to my car, so he sprayed me something on my face and eyes. And it was burning me and my eyes got closed and I started screaming. No matter what race we called us, we are people with color. And that fact, none of the American is gonna forget. They're gonna make you realize that even though you're born as an American. of um, the brother of Balbir Singh Sodhi, who you might remember was the first Sikh American to be killed after 9-11. And he was killed as he was planting flowers in front of his gas station in Mesa, Arizona. Um, and he left a whole family behind um, as a result of this hate violence that occurred. But the post-9-11 environment and hate violence is not limited just to the week after 9-11. August 5th, 2012 would not turn out to be a normal Sunday for Paramjit's family or for the Oak Creek community. Soon after his mother had left the house, news reached Kamal that people inside the Sikh temple of Wisconsin were in danger. Details were scarce and panic-stricken, Kamal rushed to the Gurdwara to find local law enforcement vehicles blocking off the driveway. Then, one of their close friends, Kirandeep, received a call from her father, who was inside the Gurdwara. He whispered to her that he was hiding in the pantry of the kitchen because he had heard gunshots. He was one of around 25 people, huddled, terrified among bags of rice and fresh vegetables. It would be a full 11 hours before authorities finally notified Kamal that his mother had been one of six people fatally shot inside the Gurdwara. This was not the future that Paramjit had envisioned for her family when she and her two sons moved to America from India in 2004 to join her husband who owned a number of gas stations in Wisconsin. First year in New York, I was in seventh grade, I had 10 fights within four months, physical like fist fights. Um, and that have, had everything to do with me being Indian, right? And so part of my strategy for getting through middle school was distancing myself from Indians. I mean, I remember thinking as a middle schooler that Indians were weak. Like, we just didn't, we just didn't know how to, <laughs> we didn't think now how to defend myself. Like, actually, the people who would come to defend me when I had fights were my black and Latino friends. I mean, the only reason an uh, Indian is able to travel in the front of the bus today is because of the African-American battles. That's the community that's given you a lot more in real terms. And we all know it was a sin and a shame of what we were forced to watch happen to this young sister. And uh, but she's not the only one. Her suffering is over. Her mother. Her mother is suffering now. Felicia, who was seven, Tommaso, and not only that, Rhonda, who was, you know, was an older woman, and my brothers as well. Hey, hey, ho, ho, gas system got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, gas system got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, gas system got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. I always wanted to be a writer, a writer of science like Carl Sagan. At last, this is the only letter I'm going to write. For one last time, Jai Bheem. Jai Bheem. They open her legs, they spread it open. A black matron, I say it again, a black matron by the name of Robinson repeatedly kicked my sister in the womb until she miscarried on the floor. So when you say there is no good police, we mean that shit. Ho ho! The system has got to go. Hey, hey! Ho ho! The system has got to go. Hey, hey! Ho ho! The system has got to go. Hey, hey! Ho ho! The system has got to go. Hey, hey! Ho ho! The system has got to go. Hey, hey! Ho ho! The
But Dr. Becker was more than the leader of a mass movement, a lawyer, and a major intellectual, which means that Dr. Becker meant means more to the dollar struggle than Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., Thurgood Marshall, Frederick Douglass, and David Walker combined. <laughs> इतनी बड़ी आबादी का क्या हो? कौन उनकी तकलीफ को तो दर्द को? मैं ये नहीं कह रहा हूँ कि आप सब जाइए। नहीं यहाँ आपकी आवश्यकता नहीं तो हम जैसे लोग कैसे आ पाएंगे? आप यहाँ रह करके राजू कामले जी, बैरवाजी ये पूरे लोग जो जगह-जगह न्यूयॉर्क में पूरे अमेरिका में और यूरोप में फैले हुए हैं, मुझे क्योंकि कोई ब्राह्मण और कोई ठाकुर बाबा साहब का नाम लेने वाला नहीं था मजे की बात है कि मैंने बाबा साहब का चित्र जिस कमरे में एचओडी का कमरा जो था मैंने बाबा साहब का चित्र लगाया चित्र ऊपर लगाया बाबा साहब का मैं नीचे बैठा आप इमेजिन कर सकते हैं कि वहां से जो ब्राह्मण अध्यापक अधिकांश अध्यापक ब्राह्मण ही हिंदी विभाग में होते हैं उन्होंने मेरे कमरे में आना बंद कर दिया वो रास्ता काट करके चले जाते थे कि डॉक्टर अंबेडकर को देखना पड़ा आप सोच सकते हैं इतने मतलब इतनी घना उनके अंदर से है आप सोच सकते हैं एक किस्मत ताप दी में मतलब विश्वविद्यालय का ये हाल है 1920 की यूनिवर्सिटी है जैसा अपना देश है पन नहीं बैसा आया नियत्र जैसा अपना देश है पन नहीं बैसा अनियत्र और खुशबू मेरे भीम की फैल रही सर्वत्र खुशबू मेरे भीम की कास्ट सिस्टम के जो यू नो जोर के झटके वाइल्ड ग्रोइंग अप कुछ समझ भी नहीं आए इट वाज देयर क्योंकि इट वाज वेरी नॉर्मल लेकिन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन था हर जगह जगह स्पेशल इन स्कूल सिस्टम बिकॉज़ ऑफ यू नो देयर वाज सम स्टूडेंट्स बिलोंग्स तू हाई कास्ट एंड इवन दे आर नॉट यू नो इन दैट being here, I am not working under any other, you know, caste is controlled. Uh, I am more open and uh, uh, I am more vocal to talk about what's happening to the Dalits, back, you know, in not only in India, but you know, in South Asia. We have been connecting with a lot of like-minded people. Uh, when we are open. I think that's a good thing here in, in, this, uh, in, in this country. People who knows you that, you know, you are human right activist, you know, not the only Dalit right activist. Chennai in the fall was incredibly devastating and unfortunately most of the communities that were impacted were Dalit and other minority communities that are not receiving the same kind of aid and in some communities in India dominant caste people have literally prevented Dalit and other minority castes from from accessing resources such as clean water and other things that they need 
to recover from this flood. So we are raising money tonight specifically to support those people who are prevented access from the other relief resources that other people are getting in India right now. Over here also, they go by colors and, uh, you know, they don't race, and but they don't have cars. But that is there. So who is voting? That what count. I came to America in 1974 as a graduate student. As I was growing up in India, I always believed in solving problems. I saw how engineers made an impact on everybody's life. In Congress today, there are six engineers and they could use one more myself. You know, people are saying that with a name like Chibukula, and it may be very difficult to get elected with an accent from India. And uh, it did not matter because I t told people that, uh, you know, instead of changing my name, I said, look, uh, the way you remember my name is by uh, thinking uh, or imagining that you are driving a Chevy and drinking a cola, Chevy cola. The middle class, uh, upper caste, migrant is white before they leave the shores of the United States, uh, the shores of Bombay. Their aspirations are entirely white. Their understanding of what they're coming here for is an integration into white, wi wi white society and white culture. Will the doctoral student being hooded by Professor Hall please approach the stage? Mariam, stand straight. One of my cousins, who's a much more recent immigrant, so he's one of the tech uh, HB1s, um, he was telling me about his da daughter were, uh, getting into Cornell Business School and being really excited. And then he started telling me about how, you know, they've admitted lots of African Americans, but he's just not sure how they're going to be able to cope. You know, you know they're, they're getting admitted because there's a quota, but you know, how are they going to actually, they don't get the right education to be able to cope. We have a quota system in the school here. They, 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 they've been, it's one of, the, one of the magnet schools one called McNair. Yeah, earlier, earlier when there was no quota system, that you see number 15 in the whole of America. Now they put the quota system and it is now somewhere around 50, 48 or 50 in the whole of America. Yeah, but it's not now. It's been, uh, and they're trying to uh, get rid of that for the reason because they have 25% quota for Asians. And Asian comes Indian, uh, Chinese, Chinese, Japanese, Philippine, all those, it comes under Asian. Right, and then 25% quota for African American, 25 for American, and the 25 for Latinos. Latinos. And 25 now, for uh, Caucasian. Now, uh, keep in mind that what is the population of Asian here and African American? So, and that quota system is not favoring our children. collective has come up uh, 
kind of uh, came into being post occupy um, around the time when uh, Narendra Modi, the current Prime Minister uh, of India, uh, was supposed to come for a Wharton conference and there was a protest against uh, a petition against him. And Tell me more about the Wharton uh, experience. How did it begin? And well, uh, it was uh, initiated by some of the faculties uh, there and some of the students, grad students, and they basically did a petition and uh, wrote articles in their uh, in their uh, university newspaper, students' newspaper, and stuff. Um, which created a lot of backlash. There was a lot of backlash. There were marches here from right-wing uh, folks who were into, you know, pro-Modi and right-wing, you know, they burnt effigies and stuff. We felt when Narendra Modi was invited to Wharton University, and we felt it is a proud moment for and uh, a Gujarati community to go there and listen the the conversation on Indian economy. And then we learned that uh, suddenly after 30 days they have revoked the visa. When I heard that, I made a phone call to Wharton University, and they said, "Mr. Modi is a polarizing figure, and that is where they have." Um, he revoked his uh, invitation. And that's where this JNU and all those people, if you ask them, all these media people, mm -hmm. from where they come, what is their background, it's JNU, Osmania, <laughs> look into that, then see what these communist minded, socialist minded people has done to the country. They ruin. America is built up on Christianity and Judaism. It is already a Christian country. England is a Christian country. Whole Europe is a Christian country. So India has right to be known as a Hindu country. What is wrong in that? Yoga becomes so important for the Indian middle class here that they will even fight to say that it is Hindu. Because white people love it. It's the production of your value in the eyes of the white. 70% of India eats meat. Why is it so important to constantly project India as this kind of home ground of vegetarianism? Because in this new liberal frame of the United States over the last 25 years, 30 years, which intersects with hippie culture and, you know, all sorts of new concerns around health and, you know, the emergence of the new, new yuppie, you know, vegetarianism is something that, you know, white people have begun to idealize and frame in particular ways.
काम में इनके आने के बाद बहुत आसानी होगी फोन पे काम हो जाते हैं पहले तो धक्के खाने पड़ते थे मजिस्ट्रेटों के अब तो अब तो इट्स लाइक हेवनली थिंग फॉर अस अब तो बस ये है कि वहाँ से उन राक्षसों के बीच से इनको निकालना है वो मुश्किल है When you talk of RSS, what is RSS? I run the shaka in my home over here. They call it Hindu Swam Sevaksam, right? What they teach over there? I was watching them. What is India? Who are our great people, right? What is wrong in that? समाधान मिलता है हम बात करते हैं आना है तो क्या करना है यही तीन हैं स्वा समाज के बीच संगठन अगर आज के तारीख में अगर आप जैक्सन हाइट्स में जाके खड़े एंड यू स्टॉप द फर्स्ट टेन देसी जो आर टर्निंग द कॉर्नर देन द क्लास कास्ट प्रोफाइल ऑफ दैट ग्रुप इज ऑफ अ नेचर दैट इज देयर द ऑटोमेटिक सपोर्ट बेस फॉर द बीजेपी पर एस यू हैव टू डू द एक्सेक्ट सेम थिंग इवन इन करोलबा इन डेली यू � Inspired organization from Rashtriya Swamsev Sangh of India. You must have all heard that Narendra Modi ji was also full time Pracharak of RSS. So Narendra Modi ji and Raghav ji are one of those 3600 full time Pracharaks that RSS has. Uh, HSS has 150 chapters. RSS may talk anything they want. They are free to do that, right? The only problem with the RSS that these people that they are they have picked up some cause what is wrong in picking up the cause so HSS we took up a campaign in 2006 so we have been working with the American school systems to make sure that Hinduism is treated equally as terms of any other religion or culture that uh, the textbook talks about. When you are in America and you are projecting a good image about India and Indian values in America, that you are doing service to India. Anxiety is how are you representing me in these textbooks, right? Because I want to be seen as a positive part of this country in opposition to, say, uh, Muslim Americans. So while claiming that minority status, while claiming that desire to be protected here, right, you have no problems positioning you know, somehow a particular understanding of India as Hindu and that you need to smash and, you know, burn all the minorities there. Some of it is that they feel like the, our Hindu community, the HSS and others, they are undermining the representations of the Dalits in other community, that they are the one oppressing them and they want to keep them down. So some of that opposition comes from uh, those groups. So in the textbooks, obviously caste is linked to Hinduism, which makes sense and is is appropriate, I think, in many ways, but they want to dislocate that and say that caste is not something that is about Hinduism, but is about um, re uh, regional politics. Thank you. Upper middle class, upper caste Indians here and there, which has always been the case, right? That's not any different than what was happening a hundred years ago in India where we were trying to eliminate the, you know, Dalit politics and eliminate Muslims from the conversation to make a country that looked very simplistically, you know, one-dimensional. Hello? Yes, yes, yes. You are? Yes. 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 Yes
there being in this country where you know we talk about you know uh, freedom for everybody equality for everybody and the same times we are you know using your own earnings to propagate you know ideology which is based on the discriminations which is based on the you know uh, bloodshed first of all what was the reason that those kar sevak four bogies were born and people were born live what was the reason when you see 68 or 64 or whatever number is that char bodies coming in your town i don't think anybody with the little blood going in his arteries will be quiet who said that the state did not act if state wouldn't have act trust me there is no muslim in gujarat and i say they are lucky i am not there even this fascination with modi and you know strong india is 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 connected to you know that structure of you know wanting to have presence with white people in a certain way here you know narendra modi for example is there who knows india in and out who has been uh, working in this uh, cause for almost 30 years uh, as a social as a community organizer so there is they will have a tremendous positive impact on india's uh, contribution to the world नरेंद्र भाई जो काम कर रहा है अभी इंडिया 2024 में भी सुपर I am still BJP guy. Even from back home, I was Jan Sangi, right? So, and uh, ABVP member from age sixteen.